Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get started here in just a second. We're just letting a few people, a few more people get online before we start um, our Bible study and then go into our prayer for yes. our prayer time. If you're online right now and you need prayer requests, please, please. Make sure you message us or put it in the comments. You can put unspoken, and we're just going to pray for you in that moment. Good morning, yes. John. Good morning, John. Good morning, John. Good morning. Yes. Let me get my phone turned off for a second. Make sure we're good to go where we're not no interruptions. Yes. Oh, good morning, Sister Becky. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. Well, today, morning, Mark. today is a beautiful day in the Lord, and it is Wonderful Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday, yes. I hope you guys, I hope all y'all have had an amazing week so far on Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. We're almost there. So I just want to send you a word and read to you this morning out of Psalms. Um, that I feel that is very fitting for today that the Spirit laid upon my heart. And I am going to start in Psalms 139, verse 14. Mm. Yes, Power, yes. Powerful, Good morning, everybody. Powerful Thank scriptures. You. Yes, God. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for those that are yes, watching right now, you. Father God. Lord, I just say, Lord, as we start our day, Father God, Lord, be with us. Yes. You go before us. You're beside us and you're behind us. Yes. So thank you, Jesus, for being with us today. Lord, thank you, God. Lord, we claim that it is a wonderful day. Wonderful. We speak life into today yes, and father god lord name. i just say thank you lord for those watching and bless them and lord bless let them. us take this word with us today as we go forth in jesus mighty in name jesus name in amen jesus name. Praise all god. right if you want to join with me turn in your bibles i'm going to be reading psalms 139 starting in 14 and this this teared me up this morning reading this scripture mm. is so amazing it says i thank you god for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. Mm. Isn't that the truth? Everything he does is breathtaking. Thank you, Father God. Yes. Excuse me. It simply amazes me to think about it. How thoroughly you know me, Lord. You ever even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place. Carefully, skillfully, shaping me from nothing to, to something. something yes. You are something. You are something. It to the Lord. He created you. Yes. So know that you are something. And he created you marvelously breathtaking. We thank you, God. He created us. It says, you saw who you created me to be before I became me. Yes. Before I'd even seen the light of day, the number of the days you planned it for me were already recorded in your book. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly yes. Father. Every single moment you were thinking of me. Yes. How precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your ever thought. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Oh God, your desires towards me are more than the grains of the sand, on the sand and every shore. When I awake each morning, you're still with me. Praise God. Praise amen. God. Amen. Yes. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. It also says, I was reading over here, and it was just, I was thinking of today, and it says, I praise <coughs> you for I am fearfully, fearfully. and wonderfully, wonderfully made. Wonderfully made. Wonderful so today on, on this wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, this yes. wonderful Wednesday, know that Psalms 139, I'm reading out of two different Bibles, two different versions, but he says in verse 14, I praise you. Yes. For I, name. for you are fearful. 
beautifully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that he loves us. He loves us so much. He woke us up this morning. Amen. He woke us up and gave us breath in our lungs. So praise God that we get to be here and, and just come to you with encouragement this praise morning. God. And I thank you for those that are joining in. And I want this to stick with you today. Yes. You are wonderfully made. Yes. God created you in his image. You are something. Absolutely. You are something to our Heavenly Father. Yes. And He thinks about you every day. And He cares about every single thing that you care about. He loves Absolutely. you. Absolutely. He loves you so much. Stand on that today. That's right. You can walk on that. Absolutely. Uh, that really that really goes very well with the, the scriptures that, uh, that He put on me to share as well. But in, I just want you to understand. No matter where you are at, if you are on the mountain or you're in the valley right now, whatever season that yes. you are in, you are wonderfully made. Amen. God knew what he was doing when he made you. Do not let the world tell you that you are anything less than a creation of the almighty God. You were his, he blew his spirit into you, right? That means you have God DNA. You can walk in that today. Yes. You can walk in the fact that he stitched you together. He yes, wove you together God. in your mother's womb. He made you just the way you are with purpose and on purpose. So you don't have to worry about anything else other than the fact that God made you wonderfully. Yes, Father yes. God. Yes. In Jesus name. Thank yes. you. Thank you for sharing yes. that. Yes. Thank yes. you for sharing Absolutely. that. Do you have anything else before I no, go? No, that's to the what scripture? I wanted to share. I, okay. I do have something probably later on as we begin to pray. Uh, just a scripture I'm going to remind somebody of. Absolutely. But I wanted to start it everybody I want to start everybody off with today. Psalms 139, 14, 139, 14. That I read through 18. Stand on his word because you are something. And yes. you are wonderfully made. Good morning, sisters. Yes. Good morning, everybody on. I'm just so happy that you're joining us. Yes. He hi, wove hi, you Pat. Yes. Hallelujah. Hi. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. He wove you wonderfully. I'm just, yes. I, love, I love those words. <clears throat> the scriptures that I have today that I'm going to be sharing with you, they're in the comments, but I'm going to go ahead and give them to you again. Uh, I'm, we're looking at Colossians 1, 20 and Romans 8. 19 through 22. I want you to understand the supremacy of Jesus. Well, what does that mean to me, Ben? I'll tell you what it means. He lives inside of you. He's He's already victorious. He put the enemy, he put the devil where the devil needed to be. He put him in check and he put him in the loser stand when he <laughs> won on the cross for you. That supremacy of Jesus you need to take with you every single day. Amen. Because the supremacy of Jesus lives inside of you. Amen. The enemy has already suffered the ultimate loss, the ultimate defeat. You do not have to walk in defeat. No. You need to walk in victory. Walk in victory. Victory in Jesus because yes. he has given you that yes, victory. God. You don't have yes. anything to worry about. There's no Cast all your worries. Cast all your anxieties on him because he's already taken care of it. Yes. You don't have to worry about it at all. So I'm going to read first Colossians <clears throat> Colossians uh, 1 20. And I want you to understand this. This particular section is defined as the supremacy of Jesus. This is verse 20. And by the blood of his cross, everything in heaven and earth is brought back to himself. He brought everything back. Sin, the enemy, Put it out in the world. He brought everything back to him by what he did on the cross for Thank you and Jesus. I. Yes. Back to its original intent. Its original intent was to be in the garden with us walking in the cool of the evening with the Father. In communion. In a love relationship. That's the intent. That's why everything was created so we could spend all day, every day with the Father. Yes. He brought it back to that. Yes. He restored to innocence again. <clears throat> I want you to understand 
that the innocent he's, that he's talking about is the blood of the cross covers us. With that, it makes us white as snow. You. you are made white as snow. The guilt of the things that go on around you that you that you've participated in your life, lay them at the foot of the cross, nail them to the cross, yes. give them to Jesus. You don't have to live like that. You don't have to be that at all. No. Jesus saved you. Walk in that. Walk yes. victoriously on this wonderful Wednesday. You can walk wondrously yes. because you've been woven together and you've been cleansed by his blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Wow. Now, a lot of us have a hard time with that thought process because I'm not good enough. He is not a respecter of person, not only in favoritism, but in where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. No. It doesn't matter the things that you've been part of. No. It doesn't matter where you were until you came to the foot of the cross and you laid your sins before him. You repented and you gave your life to him and you accepted him as your savior yes. and you walked with him as your Lord. That's what matters. Yes, it is. That wow. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your sister says about you. It doesn't matter what your cousin says about you. It doesn't matter what the people at work say about you. No. God says who you are. That's right. He says who you are. And what does he say? He says you are wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. Wonderfully made. Wonderfully made. I want you to just tattoo that on your yes, heart. Yes, God. Etch it on your heart. Yes. Those are his words. You need to, it says in the word to to etch the words on your heart. Yes. That spirit heart needs to understand yes. who you are today. Let this just be on your heart all day. All day. And that's why day. I wanted to start off today with that scripture because I want you to know it's Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday, wonderful and you Wednesday. Are wonderfully made. By our Heavenly Father. That's amazing that you read that because as I was in getting ready this morning, I just I kept hearing surrender. Surrender. And I was listening to a song, a praise and worship song, and I was like, we need to surrender. So if that's for you today, surrender it all to God. Lay it at his feet. He has given us victory. Yep, absolutely. He's given us victory to hold our head high and know. That we can walk through this day, yes. every day, because we surrender at the cross. We surrender it all to him and give it to him because he can take care of it. Absolutely. He's waiting on you to do that. Amen. We can't do anything by ourselves then. That's exactly right. I mean, I, hey, you no. can try. But, you can try all day long. But it is not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> I, I, want, I know some of you out there right now are in a season and in a, in a battle. <clears throat> when you are in a battle, in a war, there are times that you feel like you are surrounded. Mm -hmm. There are times that you feel that there's imminent defeat. Everything that you have worked for, okay, everything that you have strived for feels like it's being ripped from you. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand, as a believer, we can be in a moment of the storm, the worst possible storms, but we are never, ever defeated. No. We need to walk in victory even when surrounded by the enemy. We need to walk in what he did on the cross every single day. Because no matter where you are at, Remember, we talked about the helmet of salvation. Remember that war, that that weapons of our warfare that we are wearing, that helmet of salvation. Block out what the enemy is telling you. The enemy is telling you, "I've got you where I want you." You're right. You do have me where I want you at the foot of the cross. You have me. You have me with <laughs> the on. victorious one. Yes, you yes. have me the, with the one that has defeated you already. Yes. You know, Satan, right now that you have been defeated. You have nothing on me because I serve the risen Lord. I've ser I serve the one who defeated you. I'm the I'm the one that serves the the one that took the keys away Come from on. you and gave it to me. And he, Jesus said. I give you the keys. And then he says, I, he took the keys. He took the keys of the death from the enemy. There is no second death for us. There is no loss for us. 
there will only be two, oh, two columns. In the W, there's a one, and in the L, there's a zero for you. Walk in that today. Yes, Walk yes. in that today. We are winners and conquerors of all. That's exactly right. We are so more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors, and just put on that armor of God. Yes. Just like if you're a police officer, you get suited up with your vest on, you've got all your protection gear, you're ready. Suit up with the armor of God to be protected yes. against this, the wiles and the woos of the enemy who tries to attack you. That's where exactly right. Exactly right. Suit up, armor up, put it on, yes. and walk out there because we have the victory Absolutely. in the name of Jesus. And there's, and there's a difference that we need to walk in. I know some of us profess these things. Some of us say, this is what I am. We need to stop professing and we need to start possessing. We need to possess what he has said about yeah. us. You can profess it, but professing doesn't take the faith, the believing faith, because you take that. I possess what he did on the cross. Yes. That is who I am. I don't have to say things. I walk in those things. The next scripture that we are going to be looking at is Romans 8, 19 through 22. Romans 8, 19 through 22. And it says the entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. He, the universe is waiting for you to possess the victory, waiting for you to walk wonderfully as you have been made wonderfully. The universe is waiting for that. For against its will, the universe itself has had to endure the empty futility resulting from the consequences of human sin. But now, with eager expectation, all creation, all creation, from one side of the, the 90, I think it's 93 billion light years across the diameter of the universe, 93 billion light years across, all the way across from one end to the other, all creation longs for freedom from its slavery to decay and to experience with us the wonderful freedom coming to God's children. To this day, we are aware of the universe's agony and groaning of creation as if it were in the contractions of labor for childbirth. Mm. I want you to understand something. I'm going to skip down to 26 because I want you to understand this too. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times we don't even know what to pray for or know the best things to ask for. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede yes, for our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. I want you to understand these groanings. The groanings of the universe. There's actually a thing called infrasound. Infrasound is a, a, a uh, sound that is beyond our hearing. When a microphone is at the highest levels in the stratosphere, it can hear these things with an inframicrophone. We can't hear. There is a groaning going on in the universe waiting waiting for Jesus' return, waiting for us to walk in victory. There is a groaning. It says it right here. Paul talks about it here in Romans before science proved it was real. <laughs> Do you Come understand on. that prophetic word? The universe is groaning. It says it's groaning. And why is it groaning? Because it's yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. Come on. You are his child. You are his son. You are his daughter. And the universe is groaning in that moment. There's also a thing called travail. Travail in the scripture. This is the birthing the, in the spirit, that travail. This is what it's talking about. The Holy Spirit groans. The Holy Spirit groans within us in words. And in this particular version, and in many of them, it says too deep for words. But it is actually words that are 
unpronounceable because they're Holy Spirit words. They're godly words. They're godly groans because the Holy Spirit knows what you need. I tell you right now, and I want you to pray. If you have it, fantastic. If you have your prayer language, use it all day long because the Holy Spirit knows what is needed in this world. He knows what is needed for you, and he knows what's needed for all of us around. Also, understand that there is travail. That is available. It's a gifting from God. Paul talks about it. I will travail for you once again. That's what he's talking about. That travail, you can have it as well. All the gifts. All are, the gifts. All the gifts are any available of them, to you all from of them. God. Yes. We just have to walk in it. We have to. We have, we have to, to, to pray for these things. We have to claim these things. We have to walk in victory over defeat. We are, we are not defeated. The only place that we get defeated is right here. Mm-hmm. Right here. This is the only place that we get defeated. Yep. You don't need to walk in that. No, you do not. You don't need to walk in that no. because what Jesus did on the cross for yes. you. Amen. 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 You had something else you said you had. I, I was just, before we went into prayer, I know there's a lot of people. If you're just now joining us and this is your first time, welcome. Uh, we are going to be having prayer. And if you have a prayer request, Please let us know. We would love to pray for you. Yes. We'd love to lift it up to the Lord. Um, I just wanted to go over um, Isaiah 53, 5. Mm, that's good stuff. Isaiah good 53, stuff. 5. Because there's a lot of people who need healing right now. <clears throat> there's a lot of people. Yes. People who are suffering uh, and afflicted with illnesses, afflicted with heart disease and diabetes and um just this COVID, uh, a lot of things that are going on. But I want you to understand, our God is bigger than any of that. Absolutely. Our God is bigger than cancer. Our God is bigger than diabetes. Our God is bigger than anything. Yes. He created you wonderfully and fearfully made. He can take care of anything that's Absolutely. going on. Absolutely. Know that. What do we need to do? What do we need when we go into prayer? We need to have faith. Faith. And we need to believe in him. That's right. Okay? Believe, believing faith. Believe. Yes. Have faith. And I do. Yes. I do when I go and pray. And it says in Isaiah 53, 5, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. Jesus took everything. There is nothing that you're going through that our Father does not know about, has not experienced at all. Yes. He took it all for us. And he says, when he took that cross, that stripe on the cross with beatings, he was healed. Yes. And so are you. Yes. God Jesus can touch can. you. He's not a favor of persons. So I just want to lift up those that are that have asked for prayer. Uh, I know we've had several requests. Oh, I want to I want to real quick, if you don't mind. I want to read. Uh, she just read fifty three five, but I want to read it from this particular version because I, I mean it's just it is just beautifully said, and I want you to understand everything that is going on in these scriptures. And it says because but because of our rebellious deeds, he was pierced. Remember, he was pierced. And because of our sins, that he was crushed. He endured the punishment that made us completely whole. We have been made wondrously whole by him. And in his wounding, we found our healing. His wounds healed you wonderfully. Yes, God. And wholly and completely. His wounds that's what he did on the cross yes, for us. We can you. say in the verse before that, we also say that the sorrows and the worries and uh, the anxiousness and the things that come over us, our feelings. Remember, our soul man is where our thoughts are, where our emotions are, uh, the, the things that we desire in the flesh. That's where your soul, that's, that's what the soul man is. Those things, he took care of those things. We can cast those things on him. And he will deliver us and, and make us whole. Because he is already victorious. Yes. Victorious. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes. 
So we have prayer requests. If you if you are watching online and you have a prayer request, uh, you can message us, uh, message us right now in the comments, and we'll get to that and pray over it. Um, or you can always send us a private message. Yes. Um, to to either Ben or myself. Yeah. So let's go into prayer. Unspo unspoken or, or spoken. All you have to do is if it's spoken and you want it you want it read out. Make sure it's spoken. If it's unspoken. Just put unspoken. We uh, we don't even need to know what it is if you need unspoken prayer requests. No, no. So let's go before the Father and pray. Yes. Well, dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes. The name above all names that every knee shall bow to, that every tongue shall confess. And Father, we lift up these concerns. It says, cast your concerns on him. Cast your worries. Cast the things of this world on him and he will give you victory. We know that you are, we are victorious in you. So right now we lift up Britt Wagner and her children, Father. Yes, Whatever the situation is that is going yes, on there, God. we claim that you it is all, made Father straight. God. Whatever crooked yes. paths there are, you make straight. Yes, God. Father God, we lift up Carla in this moment. Yes. Father, whatever's going on in her life and her body, Father, we ask for it to be brought in alignment. We claim yes. the blood of Jesus yes. over her. Yes. We also pray for Jeremy. Father yes. God, you know God. this situation. Yes. You know the root of this situation. Yes. So we claim healing in his body and his mind. Yes. We lift up unspoken family concerns for Shanna. Yes. We also God. lift up Bella as she's uh, having yes. her, dance, <clears throat> yes. her dance, her uh, uh, yes. dancing today that she is doing to, to get yes. on the dancing pe a team. We ask for favor, God. Favor, Lord, favor for her, her in Jesus' name. Yes, we you, lift yes. up Dwayne. Dwayne is suffering from some bipolar situations. Uh, I, I can go on and on about that particular stuff, but I know I can claim right now, and he can, he can get rid of these things. He can cast these things in out. Jesus so name. in Jesus' name, that can happen. So we're praying for him that he is brought in and understand about these bipolar stuff. It does not, ha you do not have to live in that. We, uh, we lift up <clears throat> our sister Taz, unspoken prayer request there family concerns, yes. job concerns, and everything that's going on in her life. Yes. We lift up Flora, health concerns there. We lift up Larry and Soroya, financial concerns. Lisa, financial concerns. We lift up a Kathy, the unspoken prayer request, the things that are going in her life, the things that weigh on her, family issues and other things. Yes, we God. claim yes. right now healing yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Father God, we lift up all churches to you. Not only the small seas, but uh, your body, the big sea. We yes. lift up your body to you, Father. Yes. We claim <clears throat> love. We claim truth. We claim grace. Yes. We claim mercy yes. over the churches in our area and around the world right now. We lift up yes. House of Grace with Pastor Sander Gates and Doug Gates. We lift up River of Life with Peta and Vincent Villarreal. Yes. We lift up Church on Fire with <clears throat> Rebecca and Cedric Nobles. We lift up Grace Point, our church, Father God, and I, the body that it goes there, Grace Point in Hallettsville, Texas. We lift up Open Arms Church in Eagle Lake right now. We lift up Church on the Beach right now in Jesus' name. We lift up Miguel and Annabelle's church in Port Lavaca, Father God. We lift that up right now, them up to you, yes, and we claim, Father God, yes. that you go in and you use all of these people in a mighty way to to preach your truth, yes. to bring your love to the masses. Yes. Father God, I claim that over yes. all of them and yes. anyone that is here watching today, yes. their church, their yes. church is brought to the foot of the cross and things start to happen, Father, in these last days, in this great awakening yes. that is starting yes. right now, Father God, that signs and miracles, all things will be brought yes. to you, Father God. Lord yes. God, I just lift up my sister, Father God, Lord. <clears throat> um, thank you for letting her join in, Keisha, Father God, Lord. Yes, in Jesus Lord, name. I just, Lord, she is a police officer, and she said, pray for me and my health issues. Yes. It's affecting my job status. As we say right 
right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In Father Jesus God, Lord, name. your word says that when two or more gathered yes. in your name, Father God, Lord, for those that are watching right now, y'all all just pray and believe with us over these prayer requests, yes. but specifically over my sister right now. In the name of yes, Jesus, Father, Father God, God, I lift her up and I say yes. right now, healing in her body. Yes, Father, Father God. God, you know everything about her, God. So, Lord, I just lift her up to you right yes. now, God, and I speak healing. I say, Lord, you go in, Lord, and you just cover her with the blood of Jesus. Yes. And Isaiah 53, 5, Lord, you already, you said that by you, your by your stripes, she is healed. So healed. we say right now, body line up yes. and get healed. Father God, Lord, we ask for protection over her job yes. in the name of Jesus. Father God, Lord, we know, Lord, that yes. you, Lord, you, Lord, make a way for her. Give her favor amongst men, Father God. Yes, Lord, name. keep your angels protected over her, Lord. And Lord, just as she goes out, Lord, but Lord, heal her heal completely. Her. Lord, because she is wonderfully made by you, God. Yes. And Lord, we claim healing and wholeness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Her name is again is what? Keisha? Keisha, yeah. Keisha, if you're watching right now, I want you to understand I'm reaching out with my spirit hands yes, to God. touch you. God has told me to reach out. There is no distance in the spirit realm. Yep. So right now, I lay hands on you. Yes. It says, go to the church, go to the elders and get hands laid. I'm laying hands on you. Yes, I'm God. anointing you with the oil. The oil yes. is the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm covering you with head from head to toe in the name of Jesus. Yes, laying God. hands on you right now for healing, for direction, for for wisdom. There's yes, some things God. that are outside of the health, outside of the job that are a concern of you. I can feel that right now. I'm telling you, God's going to deliver you from those things. Yes, God. God's going to direct you in those things. He's going to pray for his wisdom. Pray for the discernment that, that you need in these situations yes, right now. I claim all of those in Jesus' name Jesus over name. you. Yes. We go on to continue to yes. pray for Tony Gonzalez. He had yes. surgery on Sunday, Thank continued healing there. Pat and John Peace. Yes. Danny Reed, last we heard, he was in the hospital recovering from some things. So we are claiming healing over him in Jesus' name. Dominique, uh, unspoken prayer request. I'm praying for all of you right now. Right now, I reach out and I touch you with my spirit hand. And I claim strength over you. Yes. I claim peace yes. over you. I claim joy over you. Yes, God. You need to receive that. You say, I want everybody watching right now, say, I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive in the name, in the name, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I receive in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Because we remember, don't just profess it. Pro possess it right yes. now in Jesus' walk in name. It in Jesus. Walk in it. Walk in what he has done for yes. you. I claim healing over Diane, the vertigo issues there, the stomach issues that are going on right now, the things that are going in her body. I claim healing. Possess that healing right now in Jesus' name. Yes. I claim healing over Mama's eyes, direction over Mama's eyes, wisdom over Mama's eyes, the God kind of wisdom yes. that she needs right now. I claim that in yes. Jesus' name over her. Possess. Yes, I don't just profess. I'm saying possess these things yes, right now in Jesus' yes. name. I'm claiming yes. healing over Amy Dominguez. Some of the things yes, I Lord. said earlier, uh, Amy, were for you. The battle, the storm, understand that is temporary. That is not oh, who yes, you are. Is. That is not what you have been called. The things around you are not what God has planned for you. He has planned miraculous yes, things. All things will be made anew. All things will be made anew in your life. I'm telling you right now, prophetically, you have nothing to worry about. Come on. God has you taken care of. Yes. You walk in victory. Yes, God. Take the sadness off because you no longer need to be sad. You no longer need to feel defeated. Come on. God has delivered you. You can yes. step in that. Praise His holy name. Praise yes. Him in the storm God. because Come He on. has already taken care of that. Come on. I know that for you, Amy. I want you to take it inside of you. I don't want you just to profess it. I want you to possess it because Jesus died on the cross Come for on. you, lady. Jesus died on the cross. He shed his yep. blood for you. He, your name, Amy Dominguez, was on his heart on the cross and he was thinking about what you were going through and he paid the price for it. Come and on. by his stripes, you are healed physically, mentally, and spiritually in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. 
Tina Coleman, she asked for a prayer request for her wrist and other health issues and also car problems. We're claiming right now in Jesus' name yes. over these things. They yes. are taken care of in Jesus' name. Yes. Becky's tooth, the, the situations that are going on in her teeth, we're going to continue to pray yes. that she has complete pain-free, that they, the, it's going to get taken care of. It is done. It is finished. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name says this is accomplished when two or more are praying. Love you, Keisha. Thank you when for joining When two or more are, are claiming something and praying for yes. something, in his name, it will come to pass. Yes. Jeannie Roberts has asked for uns two unspoken prayer requests. Yep. So we're claiming that as well. God so knows it all. God knows it all. I if want you, you Yes, I, I just I just want you to understand. Unspoken, God knows it all. You don't have to tell us. We we just want to pray in agreement to our Heavenly yes. Father. So I just want to encourage you today as we lift these up. We're gonna be on every morning at seven every as morning. God lays what He wants us to talk about each morning. Yes. Amy, thank you. Yes, God. God is so good. I just love each one of you, and I am just so thankful that we get to come together in the mornings before we start our day. Before we start our day. I tell you what, I'm hot up in here. Woo. The Holy Spirit has me on fire. Yes. I wish I, I wish I hadn't turned the heater on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Give yes. God, uh, just give him a hand clap, and we just praise you, God, and thank you for answered prayers. Yes. We remember what comes from our tongue. Yes. The power of, power life, of and life and death, death. is yes. in your tongue. So claim and speak life and healing and deliverance and all the good blessings that God has for yes. us. Claim them. Speak Speak claim, them forth claim in them Jesus' name. And possess them. Walk in it. Possess them. Walk I want, in it. I want everybody here, all the prayers that you don't have to remember the names. Throughout your day, say, I am praying for those that we prayed for this morning. Yes. Claiming those all day. Yes. Amy says she's got court this morning. We're claiming a victory right there in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus Claim name. victory over every single one of these situations that we pray for. Come together as one, in one accord, as we talked about, that Jesus wants us to be as one. Yes. Be as one in this prayer. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, John. We really appreciate it. Guys, anything else? No, I just want you to have a wonderful Wednesday. Wonderful. Be blessed. blessed. Remember, you are highly favored in Jesus' name. Jesus Walk name. with your head yes. held high. You've got your armor on. Yes. And you are ready because you are victorious yes. in Jesus Christ. Yes. You are victorious in Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Everyone that we pray for, we will remain in prayer over you. And we know that God is word never returns void never returns void he was the yeah. same in the beginning he's the same now and he's the same tomorrow so you can claim that over yourself in jesus name in we jesus love name. you we'll see you tomorrow at love you. seven it's thursday come on we're almost to friday yeah, make sure make sure and then you, sunday make sure you share this video to touch someone else. You never Make know. sure you share this so they can tune in tomorrow as well and they can get fed the word of God and they can yes. start their tremendous Thursday with the Lord. Come Thank on. you very much, Amen. guys. We love you very love much you. and we'll see you in the morning. See ya. God bless. Bye-bye.